So how good are a pair of $50 Bluetooth headphones? Well, let's find out. So this headset is called the MPOW Bluetooth Wireless Headset. Now the box is pretty simplistic and it comes with some specs. It includes a 3.5mm audio cable for wired use, so you don't have to use Bluetooth. Along with a USB charging cable, which is a pretty decent size, not too big but not too small. The headset itself is very simplistic with a very nice design and it is very comfortable, it doesn't feel too light and it doesn't feel too heavy at the same time. The over the ear cushions are very comfortable, I was very impressed by that and all, all around it's very very nice. Now on the bottom there is a USB charging cable along with the 3.5mm aux cable. Now it does expand for larger heads like myself and it does indicate the left and right for your ears. Now there is some wiggle room, which is kind of nice, I guess. I'm not really sure why that is, but I guess it's for your ears, which is good, so it's not very still. And all around, it's a very nice quality headset. Now the top piece is nice cushion, but within a couple hours of use, it does feel very irritating like most headsets. Now here, you power it on with the center. You have to hold it for about five to six seconds to power it on. Now there is also um, to raise volume, lower the volume, and skip the songs from left to right, which is very, very good because I use Spotify a lot and it's very easy. It works very fluently. Same thing with Apple Music and all that kind of stuff. It'll work flawlessly. Now, pairing is very simple as well, which I will show you. And all around, I'm very happy with the build quality of the headset. It's a nice design and it comes with a nice carry case. It feels very smooth and it can just hold like all the cables as well. And I'm very happy with this headset. Now, before I go into the very simplistic pairing process, I'm going to talk about some of the specs which the company has stated. Now, this headset supports Bluetooth 4.0. The range of use is 33 feet or 10 meters. The talk time is around 15 hours estimated, and the music play time is around 13 hours estimated. Now, for a complete charge, it says around 4 hours. Now, in my experience with use of music, um, I got around 10 to 12 hours with using it a couple hours a day for about a week straight, whether it was Spotify, YouTube, or things like that. And all around, I'm very happy with the quality. It sounds very good. There's sounds I, w I never heard before, and the bass is actually surprisingly very good. Not top tier, but I would say out of a 10, bass is around probably an 8, which I'm very happy with. So with that all said, I'm now going to show you the pairing process. Here we go. So to show you guys the pairing process, I'm going to be using my iPad Mini 2. So in order to pair it up, go over to your headset and hold down the middle button for 7 seconds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you'll see a flash red and blue. Now go over to your device, make sure Bluetooth's on, and wait for it to come up. And then it will say MPW059, press that once, and wait for it to connect. I'm now connected. Now I'm going to show you an audio test of how to pause it and change songs and raise the volume. Now from your device, you can raise the volume a lot higher on the headset. So I'm going to show you that right now. Here we go. So you can play it and pause it from your headset along with changing song. And it's very simplistic and it just works. Now all around, I'm very happy with this headset. I mean for the price, the bass is really good. The over-the-ear cushions are very good. And all around, I'm very satisfied with the battery life as well. So I'm going to say I would rate it about an 8.5 to a 9. So thank you so much for watching. Check out Amazon below for the link. And I'll see you guys later.